Good morning, welcome to CF Moto Side Rider. Today we're going to be changing the oil on the CF Moto C Force 500. This is my son's CF Moto C Force 500. It has about 170 miles on it now, so it's more than time to get that oil changed, put in some fresh oil, fresh oil filter. So let's get at it. So in this video, I'm going to go through this oil change step by step for those that need to learn how to do this. And I don't want to miss anything so that you do your oil change properly. So your oil drain plug is underneath here. It's underneath your engine. It's pointing straight down. So you got to go underneath. We're going to use a 17 millimeter socket. We're going to loosen it and we're going to put this drain bucket under here to catch all the oil. All right, while your oil is draining from the motor, you want to come to the left side of your engine and you want to take this cover off. Once we remove this cover, we'll have access to our oil filter. There we go. So your oil filter is here under this cap. We have to undo these three bolts. They're about a 10 millimeter. But first we're going to take our dipstick out. Then we removed our oil dipstick and we'll give it a cleaning. So I was wrong on these bolts, they're an eight millimeter. I was thinking about when you go to torque them, torque these bolts, it's 10 foot pounds. So we'll back these off. So we're gonna loosen these and I'm gonna get some paper towel to put down here so we don't make a big mess in oil when we pull this off. There we go, we got our paper towel in place. Then we'll continue backing these bolts out. Now we can pull the cap off. Be careful, there's a ring in there. And this is the rubber ring I'm talking about. And here's your oil filter. You just give it a pull, it'll come out. Okay, we're just gonna clean this up a bit. All this old oil. Move our paper towel, clean around where our dipstick goes, clean the hole. This is where your rubber seal is gonna fit. So we're just gonna clean that up the best we can. Okay, here we have our oil ring, or the oil cap ring. And our oil cap, we're gonna clean with some brake cleaner. Let's put that there and we'll clean our oil ring off. This here ring is the used one. In the kit, it comes with a new ring, but I'm gonna use this one because you know, uh, it, it looks good, it's in good shape. It's hardly been used, only 170 miles on it. So we're gonna reuse this. There, our oil cap's all clean, and we can put our oil filter in now, and our ring and our cap back on. So today we're using an oil kit from CF Moto. Picked this up from my son just when we bought his uh, bike. Comes with the oil ring we're looking for, it comes with the sealer washer here for your drain plug. Comes with your filter and three liters of oil. So we're Ontario, Canada. It's a 5W40 for our weather, our climate. So we're gonna reuse our oil ring and we're gonna use the drain plug sealer washer, but we're going to use the new oil filter. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the oil cap off of this liter or this jug of oil. And we're gonna use a bit of this oil, put right here on this rubber part here, this ring here, because this is where it goes into here. Just get everything, keep things lubed up. We're gonna put the open end of the filter in here. There we go. Next, we're gonna take that oil ring, like I, that rubber ring that goes under the cap here. We're gonna put a bit of oil on it as well. I have some all over my fingers. Might as well use it. And then we'll place it on the cap itself. Make sure that's fitted properly. Then we're gonna put this in place. Now we're gonna put our three bolts back in place. There we have our cap back in place. Now we're gonna tighten these up. Now you may want to use a torque wrench and you torque them to 10 foot pounds of pressure. 
Just go around slowly, just snug them up slowly. Because if you tighten them up too much, you squish that rubber O-ring and it may leak. So we got that done. Oil filter's back in, cap's back on, we're good to go there. We're gonna go underneath now and we're gonna put the drain plug back in place. Okay, I went underneath the ATV, I put the oil drain plug back in, tighten it up. You can tighten it up to 25 foot-pounds of pressure. Um, I know, I've been doing this stuff a long time, I know how tight it should be. You don't want to over crank it and squish that seal washer. That's not a good idea. Just tighten it and snug it up a little bit, but don't just crank on it. So now I got my funnel here in place. And we're going to start putting oil in it. So it should take about three liters of oil. So now we're going to put in our last liter. This is our third liter. Here's a tip for you when you're putting oil into anything. Uh, your car, your ATV, whatever. You know, you tip it sideways like this, and it won't chug, chug, chug. See, if you go like this, it glunk, 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 glunks. Turn it sideways. It's not as bad, and it's a lot easier. Less chance of you making a mess. Okay, so I started the C-Force up. I let it run for a minute or two, and now shut it off and we're gonna check our oil level. So you just back out your dipstick, get some paper towel, let's wipe it down. Put your dipstick back in, thread it in, bring it back out and check your oil level. We're right at the oil level, which is about right here. We're just a little bit above it. As we run it some more, it'll get circulated through the engine and it'll come down a little bit, but it'll be still at this line or above. So it'll be just fine. Okay, so now the dipstick is back in. We're gonna put our side cover back on. You'll see there's three grommets here. And then this one here has just got a, a post, a prong. So these grommets here, there's an opening here. I should bring you in closer, but there's an opening. You'll see what I mean. And they slide in place. Like that. And then you put your third one in. And there you go. It's in place and your oil change is done. So again, that's a step-by-step -step oil change on the C-Force 500. Now this will work on the other CF Moto ATVs as well, different sizes. It's pretty much all the same procedure. So now for the fun part, it's a really nice day out there. I think we're going to go riding for a while, have some fun, enjoy the outdoors. I want to thank you for watching. If this video helped you, subscribe really helps me out. Hit the like button and we'll see you on the next video.